Hi, I'm Ivron, uh, and I care for my husband, Malcolm. Malcolm has very severe COPD, which is a degenerative disease. Um, it means that his mobility is severely restricted. Um, and so I'm his carer, his main carer. The moment I took on those caring responsibilities for Malcolm, we put in place uh, lasting powers of attorney for both of us. More recently, uh, from West Sussex Carers, um, they've uh, given me and we've organised an emergency care card, um, which again, I'd never heard of before. Um, but if something happens to me, then um, the people who are looking after me will know that I'm a carer and they will contact the emergency resolution line and they will tell my key contacts that something's untoward. Um, but in addition to that, they'll also put in place 48 hours emergency care. They've just been so wonderful in many ways and just if you are a carer, please reach out to them because they've helped us enormously. Firstly, right at the start when I became a carer for Malcolm, um, they helped with doing the application for uh, PIP. They've also helped with securing um, equipment, so um, the key safe um, they helped provide. It was amazing. I contacted them and within 48 hours we had a key safe. They've also provided um, an alarm system um, internally within the house uh, so uh, Malcolm can call for help if needed. Uh, and then finally um, we've got the emergency contact card which they've supplied um, and talked me through that process. Um, and importantly for today's discussion, um, they introduced me to the wonderful world of contingency planning. I'd really encourage other carers, you know, who don't have plans in place, to think about it. With the greatest will in the world, if anything were to happen to me, I don't think either Malcolm or my family would really be well placed to think about all the things they need to think about in caring for Malcolm. Uh, so having it written down just makes their life a lot easier. If other people you know, do have a contingency plan, um, I think the most important thing to do is to share that with people. Um, because uh, I know I'm the worst for knowing exactly you know, what I would want to happen, but that's no good if I haven't told other people. So one of the things that um, people don't always think about when uh, doing their contingency plans, and I didn't until Chris sort of suggested it to me, um, was what would happen with their pet. We have um, a dog, and um, I hadn't thought about that before, um, but what we'd like to happen is down in the contingency plan. Um, so uh, the people who have the plan know what should happen um, if anything should happen to me.